feel oh. obligated. Maybe you don't want to know anything about Dudley. Moore. I want to want to see how long he can hold, keep this up. Keep this up. What well, is he doing? He's doing something, but what is it? What am I doing? I'm just being destructive. You know, a lot of we do that a lot in, in England because we have nothing to say. But it <laughs> always sounds so impressive. When well, you... it does sound impressive because, well, I, I guess part of the reason is that we are very impressive people, the English. But some aren't tall. So, some are some short aren't tall. I'm short. People didn't see me come on, but I'd like to stand up and I'd like to sit down. About three I like feet. to do that a few times a day. Um, I'm a short English person. <laughs> there, aren't, there aren't that many of us. Well, ask, <laughs> this is insane. Are you going to ask me a serious question, Bill? Are you just going to look? Cute? I don't have any serious questions. I don't know much about you. I think I saw I'd you. I love to be... run my hands through your hair sometimes. Don't. I, I saw you in Bedazzled. You did. Yes. yes. I saw myself in that. I never saw uh, Beyond the Fringe. You didn't. No, I was <laughs> not in New York at the time. Robert, it's been a long time. No, uh, Beyond. The, you, well, I guess it's a bit before your time. It makes you no. want to go see the movie, though, doesn't? Foul play. I did see the movie Foul mm. Play. He's good in Foul play. You, play. you play a guy who's really hung up on chasing women. Sex, yes. And getting women. It's very, very true to life. Hello. <laughs> 424. Room um, 424. Room 424, yes. There's no hotel called Why don't we take a, this film clip and while the clip is on, so. maybe we could totally regroup. Yeah, and maybe and get, get some sort get of organized, get conversation some kind of, going get and ask some questions. <laughs> All right, well, look at a clip. But my religious beliefs. <laughs> this is from Foul Play. or yours. Which is closer? Well, I, I have a, a little um, pad just around the corner. Perfect. Do you mind if I finish my drink? Oh, no, please. Do you have to? Uh, no. No, I don't have to. Miss, uh... Mundy. Gloria Mundy. Maury, come on. you say. My name is uh, Stanley Tibbetts. Do you go to these bars often, Gloria? Huh? I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, human design. Oh, it's a fascinating thing. I mean, take me, for instance. I, I have an interesting job. I, I work for the city. Uh, <clears throat> but every now and then, whoosh! <laughs> Couldn't we walk just a little faster? Oh, you seem to be in a hurry. It's just not that I think... object. I mean, God, any man would love a woman who lays it on the line. Take, for instance, the average woman. It takes two weeks of dinners before you even get to first base. I mean, I've been in America for two years, and the Mr. women Tibbetts, here... please! Oh, call me Stanley. <laughs> Dudley Moore in Foul Play, Chevy Chase, and Goldie Hawn. How close is that character to your real-life personage that we're witnessing today? Very close indeed, Bill. I'm the sweet, warm, shy person, the human being that you see there. Um, I think... Still work? It's still working, We yes. haven't cut you off. No. As a matter of fact, it's the first time I've played a, a character that's... I mean, that I, I almost talk like that character, as a matter of fact. Normally, I, I do much more sort of caricature things, you know. Um, but that's nearer to the way I normally speak, isn't it? Why did you decide to move to the U.S.? Tax reasons? Well, I... It's a long story. That's all right. Cancel the capital punishment. This is going yes. so well. Well, I got married to an, an American lady, <clears throat> and um, she's an actress. And I ended up in Los Angeles with my show, and it seemed a good place to work, you know, films and all that stuff. And I want to do films now, so I, I thought we'd stay. And what about English comedy? I mean, this is a relatively serious question. How come we're not seeing a lot of great humorous coming out of England as we were, say? Well, back in the twenties. Back in the twenties. <laughs> When I was scarcely a twinkle in my father's nose. Um, 
I don't know. I mean, the main, the main area of comedy you see now comes over with bon Monty Python uh, and the two Ronnies and other shows that come out on public television here. Uh, I don't know what, why the film industry is, is uh, such a low ebb in, in England. It, it, it seems to not be our métier over there. Do you so think much. you'll return to Broadway and another Beyond the Fringe at some point, say 1981? Thank you very much, Bill. Um, if I'm alive then, I don't know. I don't, I don't really at this moment uh, want to go back on a stage. I spent nine years of my life solidly on a stage, and I, I want to do films. I've done a half a dozen in my time, but I really want to concentrate on film work.